So this time we're going to make a new avatar. It's gonna be a girl. Female. And the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna, you know, create her skin tone um, so that I can, you know, know what I'm working with and just do some basics. I'm not gonna edit any of the clothes. That's something that can always be added later. We're gonna go into face editor, texture, face skin. It's usually and what I what I recommend is to have something. Um, so you can have like a, a, a color palette already. Um, and this makes it much easier to do if you have some something in mind. Um, and so you can literally look up, you know, skin, skin color palettes, and then just load it all. And I recommend this if you're not, I don't think anyone is very good at getting freehand colors, which would be just going into like a red or, you know, an orange color, uh, picking from there. You could do that. This is another option. All right. So I just downloaded a, a color palette and you can just literally, I just Googled it for layer. So you can, you know, eye drop whatever color you want, and then you can reduce the opacity, right? Go to another layer. You should rename this color palette. Just so, you know, this is like not, so you can delete it later or whatever. Or just, and then I'm just going to rename this base layer. And, right, you can reduce the opacity so you don't see it. And then, I'm um, in the erase. <laughs> and then you can color everything in, right? She has like a weird light on her. Go to, you can go to the general editor and reduce the rim light. And that kind of helps you see better. Back to the face editor. Right, we're not gonna just leave her like this, right? So, face skin. Create another layer. This could be more like details. And so for details, if you're not very good, um, you can go to like making these detailings. Um, you can reduce the, uh, the transparency of the layer. Oh, I reduced wrong. So the base layer, right? That you just ruined. And then making sure you're on the detail layer, you can just follow these that are already on the model and they don't need to be perfect. If you want something more precise, right? I recommend exporting this into Clip Studio Art or something else. Um, and that gives you like a better, that can give you a better, uh, better details if you want everything to be more smooth. But I do like the level of detail you can get from this. Um, and so we're just going to go a little darker, we're going to go maybe four, right? Maybe a little darker than that. I'm just going to, I'm going to follow it. Might take me a few tries. I can mirror it too, so I'm going to do it like... I'm using my mouse for this because I want to show that you don't need a tablet, but if you want to do it faster or more precise, tablet's the way to go. Yep, and then you can see how it will look. Let's add this back in. And that looks fine. Alright. You can erase some of it off if you don't like it. Oops. Make sure on the right layer. You can do some details here if you're very patient. <laughs> like pixel by pixel. Um, It looks fun. Okay. Just be careful because then it sometimes looks too pixelated. This looks fine. Right? Then we'll go to, you know, make a no nose. And so, you know, you can make the nose however you want. You can just follow this. You know, you can just draw. Sorry, this is too small. Four is like my favorite number for details. You can draw her little nostrils, you see them right there, a little lower, right? Right, you could do this, or... You can do some simple shading, like this, right? It's 
some of it looks much better once you... You can make this a little high. And that's totally acceptable lips, right? right? And then for lips, a similar thing, right? You can start from up here and join in the middle, right? And then you can, a uh, good way of deciding how big you want them is to just draw like a guide, right? Sometimes that's better to do like in a separate way, you know, like a lip guide. I'm getting into the habit of renaming everything because I always draw on the wrong layer when I don't. Lip guide. So we're gonna do. Oops. Right. And check out what works for you. And the lips, there's like, because of how this works, it's better to go a little flat here and then go here. Sorry. Like this sometimes when you're making the new lips. So you can go bigger, right? It's all in the shading. Come to later. It's not so bad. It's just a guide. So we can use this uh, brush to shade it in a bit. You can pick like a maybe a darker color, more red. So this looks crazy, but I can go back here and we'll fix the line around the lips. It doesn't that much. And a good thing is to remember to do some shading. And for that we'll go to a, a much lighter color. You can, go, you can actually do this color here as like a reflection, but we'll do a lighter color like this. Make sure you're on the right layer. Yeah, See how it looks much longer here and much shorter here, so that's also something to watch out. Uh, that it might look very nice on here, but you have to see how it actually looks on the model. So we can lower where this looks. And let's increase the opacity. And so we see where it kind of followed the model and didn't, the guy. And let's see if we can. There you go. Here's some sample clips. Um, cool. So now we're gonna go to... Let's see if there's any detail in the camera. Ah, the shade around her face. And we'll add some, some more details to her eyes. 
So I'll just pick a color that's a little darker and this will be the and this is some shading. I'm gonna make the brush a little wider, a lot wider, <laughs> and just go around, go around the face. Uh, so let's, yeah, you can use either this brush or this brush, right? I feel like this is a nice softer touch. So you can use this one, and coming down here. We'll just trace this one and we'll just make the darker sponge. That's just this part under the chin. And also go ahead and add some to the ears. Or well, the ear itself. And um, I, I really suck at doing the ears. So what I just do is I try to follow this pattern. It's like the best I can do. Really not. There's actually like some rules of what to do, but... That's it. That's the ear. Can make it, you know, a little high. But yeah, that's all I'm going on to see. Very bad at this. Now add some light to the tip. And then for here, if you're going back to the skin tone color, skin tone color for the eyes, we can just add some nice detail into the eyes. And so going a little darker, I'm going to just follow this down the eye, just to create some dimension. You can go all around, but I'm not going to do that. This is also with the same color that you can, you know, choose to draw some more dimensions on the nose. The shade right can also start from higher up. Go from like here, right? I however you like. Really like this. So a basic face. We'll add some. You can also like you know add some more details like earrings or something. Oh, I think it has to be closer here. We'll do the eyebrows. And these can take, it depends on how complicated you want to get. I'll show you how I do the eyebrows. And so um, what you can do is on a new layer, make a guide and actually it's not zoom in yet. Make a guide. And then depending on how you want this to look, right? You can make this smaller and you can kind of map out. You can map out where these will look, right? So I, you can choose you can uh, choose from right now what color you are or you can fix the shading to make um what the color that it's gonna result in you can decide right what color you want it um later or you can do it right now um and so that way you could just do it in all whites i usually just pick the color on the shade this is this will be the hair color or the eyebrow color and you can map out like how what areas you want them in Right? Or what shape you want them to be in. You could have, you know, circle eyebrows. It's, it's, it's a hundred percent up to you. Right? You can only have them be here versus, you know, anywhere else. Or you can have them be, you know, normal eyebrows. Let's make them circle eyebrows. And then some people, right? Some people just leave them in like this. And they don't actually, you know, make the details of the different hair fibers. And so that's, that's totally fine. You know, it's whatever floats your boat. But if you were to do them like this, right, this is just our our guide it's gonna make it 
get this color just so that I can see it. Zoom in to whatever eyebrow you want to do first. And then you can start drawing and so you could do it hair by hair or you can again map it out but I think that this gives it a nice look personally and I'm doing this again with my mouse And then you can change the base color to maybe gotta find where the browns are or whatever color you want it to be. The shade color right could be red. The shade color could be red. And then go back to your guide and you can just remove that. You can go back to your layer and edit them. Sometimes there's like a white piece here. That's part of the default image. So let's remove that. There you go. You have some eyebrows. And you see where there's like these spaces? You can fix those and darken them up. You can just go back. You could either... I like to make another layer. And you can move this one to under the first initial layer. And so I'm drawing under it. This way I can darken all of the other spots. Without changing too much of it or having to, you know, hand draw the rest. See? And you can always go back and fill out some spots. And again, right, you can do this in if you want to get even more technical, but I think this is enough, you can go to like Clip Studio R or, you know, any of your drawing softwares and here you got some eyebrows, right? And, and you can draw them out. <laughs> 